One day, on a walk after school, Stravinsky and his three friends, Harold the Hedgehog, Klopstock the Tortoise, and Elbow the Blue Rabbit... Elbow the Rabbit. Cautiously, the four friends crept through the tall grass. Look there! Man, what a convenient place for a house. That's spooky. Elbow mouths something entirely different from what he says. I'm adding ten cents right now for the future lip syncing errors. Chicken! I'm not a chicken, I'm a rabbit. Was that supposed to be an attempt at a joke? Curiously, the four squeezed through the half-open gate. I don't think any of them squeezed through that gate. They kind of just walked through, which also makes me wonder. Why would you have a gate if you're just going to leave it open? Isn't the whole point of a gate to prevent people from approaching your house? Gold! Hooray, we're rich! Wait! First we have to find out who this gold belongs to. Yes, because the first thing that a child thinks of when they see money is, I wonder who owns this? I get that this is supposed to be teaching kids to do the right thing, but it isn't very realistic. Come now, let's go inside the house. So Stravinsky is worried about stealing the gold, but doesn't give two shits about trespassing on somebody's property. The front door was open. What is it with these homeowners leaving doors open? It's almost as if the plot wants the main characters to get inside. Spooky. I don't think anybody asked for that. Come, let's look for some books. Nobody can convince me that it takes that many steps to turn around. No, let's go to the basement. And be quiet. He really wants to go down to that basement. Why would there be books down there? Is it common for people to have books in their basements in this world? I wonder who lives here. Maybe the big bad wolf. Very funny, Klopstock. Very funny. It's good you're a little blue bunny and not little red riding hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just be quiet now. I agree with Stravinsky. The books are near. I can already smell them. What type of super smell does Stravinsky have? They aren't even in the basement yet. Surely he can't smell them from that far away. Wow! There's millions of books there! Did those books just grow faces? Oh, the books are singing and dancing! And how are they doing that? They don't have legs or arms, and they just grew faces a few seconds ago. Also, did they plan this out ahead of time? They're singing in perfect synchrony and floating together. Why are some books alive while others are lying down? What determines whether or not a book gets to grow a face? Hello, Mr. Troll. My name is Stravinsky. These are my friends, Harold, Klopstock, and Elbow. What are you doing in my house? I half expected All-Star to start playing. Trolls don't play anything. Only bagpipe or doodle bag or pipe doodle or bag doodle pipe. Three of the four instruments he named do not exist. I will tell you. I will tell you right away. Without delay. At once and immediately. Most of that sentence was not necessary, which caused a delay. A bit ironic if you ask me. I will not be able to get that dance out of my brain. Thanks, Booby. Oh dear, quick, let's get out of here. No, no, I want to stay and browse through all the amazing books here. Me too. Yes, yes, amazing books, magical books, goblin and pixie books, read, read, read. <laughs> what is with everyone's obsession with reading books? Even the books themselves beg to be read. Oh, I've tried to bury. I've received this gold from Her Majesty the Scarlet Queen. Was told to multiply, but I can't do it. When the Scarlet Queen returns and I won't have no money or gold, then she'll beat me! So if she returns and he has no gold, she'll beat him? Seems to me like hiding the gold won't do any good, unless he wants her to beat him. Now that be one kinky plot twist. Listen, I can hear the music again. Come, let's go and find it. No, I want to stay here. You can go, Stravinsky. Then you can tell us all about it. We will stay here. Okay, but don't do anything stupid. Knowing them, uh, I wouldn't count on it. But could you tell me who was playing the music on you just now? Myself. I am so lonely. Once in a while, I long for the sound of my favorite melodies, so I play them myself, as no one else will use me. Gently the bow touch. Oh, don't step on it! It's very sensitive! Horse hair. You understand. 
Gently the bow touches my strings, and my wooden cello heart is warmed by the music. <laughs> Masturbating talking cello. Have you ever seen a cello that drinks tea? Now lives here, and occasionally comes upstairs to drink tea with me and the glob glow gab galab. Did she not just say that she doesn't drink tea? Oh, what was that? My friends! I need to find them! What a short visit! How sad. Did she expect him to stay longer? If so, did she want him to play music on her? He's a child, so that's pretty f***ed up. From one of the thick books, the glob glow gab galab slowly emerged. His massive body was like a large lump of dough that was fed by the thoughts and stories of the books. I'm adding two synths, one for the scene existing, and one for the noises that he's making. The glob glow gab galab became smaller and smaller until he was sucked into the book with the sound that gave him his name. Once inside, Stravinsky could hear the glob glow gab galab giggle and gobble. And how exactly does that work? How does one consume the thoughts of a book? I'm the glob glow gab galab. I love books. And this basement is a true treasure trove. Why are the books dancing for him? He eats their thoughts. If I was one of those books, I'd be running away. I am the glob glow gab galab. The schwabble double wobble gabble flibber blah blah blah. I'm full of swibble glibber kind. I am the yeast of thoughts and mine. Schwabble double glibber glabba swibble schwab glab. Dibble double swibble shabble glibber glab schwab. Schwabble double glibber glabba swibble schwab dab. Dibble double swibble shabble glibber schwab glab. Oh, ha ha ha. Mmm, splendid. Simply delicious. Oh, mm. <laughs> I am the glob glow gab galab. The schwabble double wobble gabble flibber blah blah blah. I'm full of schwibble glibber kind. I am the yeast of thoughts and mine. Schwabble double glibber glabber schwibble trap glab. Dibble double schwibble schwabble glibber glab schwab. Schwabble double glibber glabber schwibble trap dab. Dibble double schwibble schwabble glibber schwab glab. Did I just have a seizure? I do not eat books, I consume their thoughts. I feed on them, but I do leave the books just as they are. So does he take their thoughts and leave them as a shell of a being? That's like a giant Pillsbury doughboy sucking out your memories and leaving you walking around as a brainless corpse. Harsh. Only the Scarlet Queen can help now. The Scarlet Queen? <gasps> of all things, why the Scarlet Queen? Do we have to? Why does everybody hate the Scarlet Queen? According to Stravinsky, she's really kind, but everyone else seems to hate her. For your own sake, I'm skipping over this entire song. The book seemed to have put them under a spell. It's just so important to be careful what you read. Totally not an obvious underlying message of this movie. The Glob Glow Gab Galab wanted to cheer up Stravinsky and changed his shape into a large eagle. You see? It's that easy. Flesh Eagle. <laughs> oh, 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 What is even going on in this scene? What triggers his growth? Also, you want me to believe that the Globgo Gabgalab, who was described as a lump of dough, broke through that wooden floor? How strong's his flesh? Stravinsky managed to grab the Globgo Gabgalab's tail and was pulled into the living room. Don't touch that, Stravinsky. You don't know where it's been. What's that? The flooring, the beautiful floorboards, the expensive, valuable flooring. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. That must be you. That must have been you. That must have been you again. The globgy, globgy thing. Why does he repeat things so many times? Last week, he turned into a dragon and nearly burned down the house. Outrageous. Simply outrageous. I'm very sorry. The dragon had a cold and um, had to sneeze. Wait. So he has the power to spit fire. How is he producing it? I thought he could just change his physical form. The Scarlet Queen is generally acting on behalf of the Great Elohim, isn't she? And the Great Elohim told me through her that I need to make a decision about whom I want to serve. Him or the Rat King. Considering this movie is an allegory for religion, this is basically saying that unless you devote your life to serving God, you are serving the devil. 
a bit manipulative if you ask me. She will go to the great Elohim and he will forgive you. Please don't start singing again. Thank you, Stravinsky. That was very kind of you. Your Majesty, you're here! Whoa, she got there fast, and nobody saw her come in. I mean, she is Jesus after all. It once belonged to me, and I played on it the most beautiful melodies I know. Assuming playing the cello is a metaphor for masturbating, does that mean that Jesus used to get kinky with this cello? Now that's something I'd watch over this. Harold, Klopstock and Elbow were still at the same place where Stravinsky had initially found them. Where else would they be? They're frozen. It wouldn't have taken much longer, and they would have turned into glob glow gab galabs. So you're telling me that a book turned the glob glow gab galab into that thing? The creators of this movie really don't want kids reading books. The glob glow gab galab used to be a beautiful forest elf lovingly created by the great Elohim. But he decided to make his own way, and in doing so ended up discovering some magic books. He lost his slender form and became what he is now, big and fat and slow. So when I say somebody's big, fat and slow, people get on my ass about it. But when Jesus does it, it's completely okay. The Scarlet Queen began to lovingly stroke each of the three friends for a long time. If there wasn't any imagery, I might assume that she was doing something different to the animals. Stroke may have not been the best choice of words to use there. Harold's spikes caused her hand to bleed, but she didn't seem to mind, even though one could see that she was in pain. Not only is there no blood on her hands, but she doesn't look at the slightest bit in pain. Immediately, the queen struck each of the three books with her open palm, causing them to crumble into pieces. Did those books just turn into f rats? You always interfere with my plans, but just you wait. Sooner or later, I will defeat Great Elohim and crush you all. Just you wait. So you're telling me that he was in that wardrobe the whole time? Couldn't they just capture him if he's that big of a problem? Fill the realm in lies with my dark cloak. Bring despair and make you fall. Did those books just backflip? Not only is this song actually decent, but those books all just did backflips. I'm taking away one sin for that. So terrifying is the Rat King's evil mind. What is happening to the faces of those books? Please be more careful in future. That's not the right way to say that sentence. You need to decide. He or the great Elohim. Again, with this choose who you serve bull. I don't want to be lonely. Please forgive my disobedience, your majesty. Most wonderful queen. Simp. The four friends watched the Scarlet Queen float like a red cloud towards the horizon. So she can float now. He decided that from this day onwards, he would live his life entirely for the glory of the great Elohim. Basically telling kids that the only way you won't be turned into a glob glow gab galab is by worshipping God and dedicating your life to him. 